Much of human identity is based on the unique and amazing power of the human brain. That's why AI's encroaching on that domain scare so many. It's already easy to envision a doom and gloom future, and the idea that we may no longer be the smartest only adds to that fear. Couple that with the singularity occurring, and we may be left so far back behind that it'll be laughable that we are once the smartest beings on this planet. But that doesn't have to be our future. There is an alternative path that we can take, that myself and our great overlord Elon Musk are going to try to convince you on. That path is a transhuman future. Elon Musk warns that AIs will soon make humans irrelevant if nothing is done. One of the big reasons is the input-output issue. We possess the ability to take in information and process information in a much faster and robust way compared to outputting said information. Our eyes and brains work much faster than our mouths and hands can. Computer systems don't have these issues, and as such, computer systems can communicate at trillions of bit per second, while humans are confined to about 10 bits per second. Elon proposes going about fixing this issue with a neural lace, a sort of mesh that forms the third layer above the limbic system and the cortex. Signals will be picked up and transmitted wirelessly, thus allowing it to interact with brain activity, but not interfere with it. This mesh would allow us to greatly increase our output by removing the output bottleneck. Instead of composing a text with your thumbs, you would be able to send a text with your mind. Now of course, mind texting isn't the only benefit of the Elon lace. The neural lace would also allow us to live more symbiotically with AIs. Instead of having to compete with AIs, AIs could be used to augment human abilities. In the long term, it's likely that we will need a more robust fusion of humans and machines in order to remain relevant. As we approach the singularity, even a human brain boosted with a neural lace would be much too slow. The singularity is the point at which we build AI so powerful that they in turn will be able to create AI smarter than themselves, which then can create an AI even smarter than itself and onward. The real kicker here is the speed at which this will occur. Time is relative, and as these computational processes get better and better, it will be possible for these AIs to do what seems like thousands of years of work in mere minutes. In the most conservative situation, the difference in intellect between the endgame AIs and current humans will be the difference in intelligence between a human and a house cat. Things that come fairly easy to humans are incomprehensible to house cats, and with these AIs, it'll be no different. Unless we can continue to grow with these AIs, we will be left at the whim of this new apex being, and we can only hope that they will treat us as kindly as we treat our cats. There are, of course, ways we can go about bettering our chances that AIs will be beneficial to humanity, but that's a topic for a different video. It's important to note that even if we fully merge with machines, we may still be left behind in the singularity. Even if the AIs have our best interests in mind, it'll likely not be resource efficient to continually upgrade us, and as such they may decide that the best long-term decision would be to advance without us. However, at the very least, transhumanism will allow us to live symbiotically with AIs and solve many of the limitations of the human existence. In fact, some of us have already started merging with machines in the way of mechanical limbs. While augmented organs don't seem near, fully functional augmented limbs are in our near future. Not only can augmentation lead to less risk of injury, it can also be great for restoring quality of life to individuals who have either lost functionality of their limbs due to genetic reasons, accidents, and even the disease that affects everyone, aging. Not only will transhumanism help us overcome our mental limitations, it'll also help us overcome our physical limitations. Even for those that don't want to live forever, I think most people would enjoy spending their final years not being confined to places only accessible by a walker. But what about the possibility of being hacked? Well, that certainly is a concern. I am not a cybersecurity expert, nor is it really possible to know the security gaps in future augmentation systems, but it is a very real possibility that these systems run the chance of being hackable. However, at this point, it is important to note that organic brains are just as hackable. With an off switch to consciousness being discovered in 2014, and recently, scientists discovered a proof of principle that memories can be erased as well. It's only a matter of time till a country or an individual weaponizes brain manipulation, and unlike machines, upgrading the software and hardware of the organic brain will likely be much harder. Perhaps the best system would be a mix of organic and machine systems. That way, when one system is attacked, the other can carry the weight until the other system is restored. But we won't really know until the time has come. All this may be very scary, and don't worry, that response is natural. For the first time in human history, humans may lose their spot as the most intelligent beings on Earth. 
it's only normal to have reservations on how we should proceed. However, the only wrong step we can make is to not move forward. Because if we do not move forward due to our reservations, someone else without those reservations will. We'll likely make many mistakes on the way. Some may even be catastrophic. But hopefully we'll do what humans do best, and adapt. Thanks for watching, a few things before you go. First, if you haven't played it already and you're down with futuristic FPSs, I'd recommend Deus Ex Human Revolution. It's a great game that covers transhumanism and many of the themes I covered in this video. It's a little outdated and a little slow to pick up, but once it picked up I couldn't put it down till I finished it. Second, if you haven't seen all their stuff already, Kurt Sagas is an awesome YouTube channel with some awesome videos. And if you're looking for a video to start with, I'd recommend their video on CRISPR. Thanks again, see ya.